Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today, uh, working on my 2023 uh, Polaris Ranger 1000 XP. Uh, actually doing a little bit of um, suspension adjustment. Um, probably quite a few people don't know about this, but the shocks on these are adjustable. Um, not only are they adjustable, there's this collar right here, and you get a, what they call a spanner wrench, and there's notches here, and you can turn this. And you turn it, and this uh, will, will compress the spring more. Right now, it is on the softest setting, so it's on the lowest setting. But as you turn it, it steps up and pushes up on that spring. Um, so probably a lot of people know about that adjustment, but there's also the mount. There's two mounts on the top. There's an inside mount, which was where this was, and I moved it to the outside mounting holes. So what that does, it actually makes the shock stand straighter, which from what I understand actually helps the shock work better so it will give you a stiffer ride um, and it should give me uh, some more height which is really what I'm after. Uh, the machine's got a little bit of a rake um, that I don't like. I'd rather have it more level sitting so uh, this is the first adjustment. I'm just moving my shocks to the outside uh, mounting holes up there and a lot of people probably don't know that you can do that. Um, you can do this front and rear. And they've had this adjustment for quite a while now. Uh, my Ranger 900 had the same thing. Again, I don't think a lot of people even know uh, that adjustment exists. But I'm going to try moving them out. Um, this would probably be, be good if you uh, run a snowplow because it's going to actually hold the weight better. Like I said, um, the shock works better as it sits uh, straighter. Um, if, as it's angled, I believe your shock loses the ability to actually work um, efficiently. But anyway, I've got that one done. I got to go do the driver's side. All you got to do is jack it up and get the weight off your shock. Unbolt your shock, uh, 15, I'm using a 15 millimeter socket, a 15 millimeter wrench. Um, I've got a little hammer because it gets a little difficult to get that bolt to go back in sometimes. But yeah, if actually if you move the shocks to the outer mounting hole on top and you stiffen them up all the way, um, I believe you can get quite a bit of a lift, um, inch, maybe inch and a half uh, doing that, just doing that. Again, it's going to make your ride um, a little stiffer. Uh, this thing rides pretty darn smooth, I think. So um, a little bit more stiffness, I don't think it's going to affect anything. Um, I can always change it back. But anyway, um, I'm going to get this other side here, this driver's side. Okay, so there it is on the ground. Uh, both sides are done. I did a quick little time lapse to show you. It's, it's not that difficult. You got two bolts you're taking out. Should be able to do both sides 10, 15 minutes at the max. Um, if you got the, the right tools and a jack handy. But I can't really step back and take a look in the shop here, but I think it's exactly where I want it. Um, right there. Um, 
yeah it's uh it's a it's a quick easy little adjustment here but i think it's gonna it's gonna level the whole thing out and make it look so much better so tomorrow when i get it out uh, we'll step back take a look and uh, see if i like it Alrighty guys, hopefully the, the wind isn't going to mess up my audio too much. I think I'm in a little cove here, so hopefully we'll be alright. But there it is. I think it still has a slight rake. little, just slightly lower in the front. Uh, but not near as bad as it was. I'm, I'm really happy with that. That's exactly what I wanted. Pretty close to the same gap above each wheel. Trying to get my shadow out of the picture there, but anyway guys, quick little video. Uh, you can adjust your suspension on these things. Um, you can do quite a few adjustments. Um, so hopefully uh, some people learned something maybe you didn't know and now you do so get out there adjust your range your suspension I'll see you